Hi everyone, it's Shaftman here from Shaftman TV. I hope you're doing well. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd be deeply appreciative if you do. But today we're going to look at the autumn 2017 budget delivered by Philip Hammond today. And the one takeaway I'm getting from the budget is the downgrade in the productivity outlook and forecast for the UK. 1.5% in the next five years. This, this productivity downgrade should be deeply worrying for investors, but also for people that work and live in the UK. Because without economic growth, <clears throat> excuse me, wages will not grow. And 1.5% is a lot lower than most of our peers, for example, in the Eurozone, the United States, China, etc., uh, etc. Et so, technically speaking, um, the downgrading of the growth is very worrying. Now, is this just Brexit? Is there a structural problem in the UK? Is there too much emphasis on the financial services industry and not enough investment in innovative technologies and in you know renewable technologies and in you know um, companies that are going to uh, create growth? These are all questions to look at and. The government have tried to address this, but in my opinion, they've not gone far enough. If you look at the level of spending in China and the United States on R&D, it's no coincidence that, that the largest and best technology companies are coming from the United States and coming from China and coming from you know places where lots and lots of money is spent on innovation uh, to actually innovate with, say, financial technology, to innovate in, with electric cars, to innovate in relation to all manner of major companies. I mean, you can reel off the fangs, you know, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google in the United States. And the United States has got 30% of all the uh, R&D investment in the world. So it's no coincidence that it creates the best companies, you know, or in terms of technological innovation. So the point is that the government are trying to assist innovation, assist growth, but you know they're they're, they're basically throwing less than a billion pounds at electric cars, at improving the broadband connectivity in this country, which is shocking, by the way. If people haven't been to the UK, broadband is terrible. It's very the internet is very slow, and you know these these types of structural problems in the economy have to be resolved in a long-term way, but also with funds being you know, thrown at it. And new businesses and innovative businesses need to be encouraged more. And in my personal view, they're not. And the UK is gonna be left behind. The growth forecast has already been downgraded. We have Brexit coming. We've got a wage stagnation in the UK at the moment. We've got somewhat of a crisis in terms of the richest and the poorest people in the country and in my opinion the government needs to try and spend money to help innovation in the actual economy and to encourage entrepreneurs to actually create jobs and to create growth and that's not happening and so that should be worrying for everybody inside the UK what are the takeaway from the budget? The other one is obviously trying to uh, resolve and fix the housing market. And again, uh, the government probably doesn't have the will and potentially doesn't have the resources to do this. But again, not to sound pessimistic, to give stamp duty relief to first time buyers up to £300,000 is a really a really symbolic act. It's not going to encourage people to, or help people to come onto the housing market. Maybe if you buy a house for £300,000, you'll save a few thousand pounds, but that's not, that's more of a symbolic policy. And, you know, action needs to be taken to assist the building of houses, whether that's land banking, whether that is, is actually, I mean, Analyze, for example, your local planning authority. The local planning authorities' uh, resources have been cut. So how, how can the country have residential property being built when local planning authorities, some of them have like two offices, okay? How are they going to, you know, uh, give planning permission and 
enable a seamless process for a developer to buy some land, obtain planning permission and build that property. The system is clogged up and the government need to resolve the bureaucracy around the local planning authorities and also the bureaucracy around what is defined as Greenbelt. Now, these would have a greater impact upon the housing market. This, this would encourage more supply into the housing market, which would then potentially make houses more affordable and also encourage young people to come onto the housing market. And also, um, many parts of the world, you'll see that in the housing market, uh, flat pack buildings are, are allowed and the government hasn't done anything about flat pack buildings. Now flat pack building sounds like a very shoddy type of building but it's not. M most, most large buildings that are commercial properties are essentially flat pack buildings. It's essentially a pre-designed, prefabricated, prefab building which is erected. Okay, and the government aren't doing anything to enable residential house builders to actually tap into this. And they're actually very good, you know, very, very widely used in the United States and Canada and also in China. So, you know, they, uh, we have some pressing issues and the government haven't really attacked some of these issues. But for me, obviously, the productivity issue is, is massive. So, you know, uh, we need to watch this space. We need to... Uh, look at the wage growth figures and we need to be pretty concerned about what's happening in the UK at the moment in terms of growth. Now, it's not all bad news. The UK has got some major, major headwinds and major, major advantages which other countries don't have. But when you consider our growth in relation to our peers, it's very worrying, very, very worrying. So obviously I've not covered all the budget there because that would take, take a long time. But that's just my initial shooting from the hip feeling about what the budget means and, and uh, the actual figures that have, that have come out. So I hope that's useful. If you've got any comments, please add them in the comment section. If you can subscribe, I'll be very grateful and I'd like to thank you for watching the video. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Thank you.